Christian Gonzalez is the one we're going to start with first because he's the one that I personally like the best in this year's class. And again, he's fluctuated around a lot as well. Uh, some teams like him, some teams like Witherspoon, um, some teams want to take Gonzalez for the sake that he's the top cornerback. Yep. Uh, so let's start with him, a guy who was primarily on the outside, pretty much a one-on-one -on -one press man defender um, for the Oregon Duck defense. 500 snaps outside, um, a little bit, you know, only 138 snaps in the slot this year, but an exceptional open field tackler and a guy whose tape really speaks for itself. Yeah, I mean, he's a great athlete. I mean, he's exactly what you want in a number one corner. He's got great size, great speed. He's very explosive. He's strong as well. You mentioned he plays in a lot of press coverage. He bullies people off the line there and I mean he, he's a very good stereotypical corner he's got great length his ability to play the position technically is very good as well so I expect him to come out and be a day one starter whether whether he's the cornerback one I think depends on what team he gets drafted to but he's definitely going to be a starter day one on the outside of an NFL offense yeah and to me when I look at his potential I think he's a guy who could be a possible early pro bowler early yep. in his career. Uh, I think no matter you know what defense he's added to, I think he has that potential just as a lockdown corner. Um, reminds me a little bit just of a Jair Alexander, you know, smaller, you know, 6'2", 200-pound guy, but he's very lengthy, especially his arms, yep. really long athlete, lean corner, and the athleticism is off the charts as well. So I think he can easily defend a number one receiver in the NFL um, and right out of the gate be in consideration for a Pro Bowl. Yeah, and I mean, one thing that this class has is it doesn't have the hype that some of these past classes have yeah. had. I mean, you look at it, last year, all people could talk about was Sauce and Derek Stingley. When Jeff Akuda came out and he was the number three overall pick for the Lions, all people could talk about was how good Jeff Akuda was. This year, there's only, because of the quarterback controversy that's going on and the Jalen Carter stuff that's been going on off the field... No one is talking about this cornerback class. Yeah. So it's very underrated. They can kind of fly under the radar, get through their draft process, and then have their impact be made on the NFL field. So you're not hearing a lot about these guys. There's no, oh, Christian Gonzalez is going to be an elite you know, starter right out the gate. Just top corner in this class, potentially go top 10, and he's going to go do his job on the field. So it's interesting to see how these guys are going to have like do it on the field if the not talking about them is, you know, something to say about the class. That maybe they're kind of like a level below some of these other guys that we were just talking about coming out of college. Yeah. But it, it'll be interesting. So we pulled up, uh, we're going to pull this up now, the process of Christian Gonzalez, especially, you know, the combine, the pro day, uh, pro day measurables. He had a 9.95 uh, composite score on the relative athletic score. Um, so an elite category, you know, again, the great size, um, great weight the length is incredible as well 32 inch arms um and then four three eight 40 yard dash i mean it's still considered elite. I, yeah i mean it's not that's good i think nolan smith had a faster one who we talked about yeah, last I think week so. <laughs> but still a pretty good one um you know 1.54 on his 10 yard split he had a 41 and a half inch vertical an elite athlete um is what chris gonzalez is and he showed that during his process um and you know the tape showcases that this guy is going to be a lockdown defender yeah. at the next level. Um, when you pair him up one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, he's got the instincts, the awareness, and man or zone coverage to do what he does best. And I really like him you know, where he fits best as that press man corner against the receiver you know, on his own island pretty much. Yeah, and I mean, that's what you love in a corner, especially when you're going to take him high. You want someone that's going to be able to do his job one-on-one -on -one in that area, and he, he's shown in college that he can do that. The yeah. question is, will he be able to do that at the NFL level? And that's the whole draft process. You've got to decide if the guy's going to be able to do it, and so far from what we've heard, he can. So let's pull up some tape on Christian Gonzalez. Um, so a lot of these, again, just one-on-one. -on -one. And what I like is the open field tackling the most out of Christian Gonzalez. A very willing tackler, and he holds his own in open field. I mean, some of these other guys are better tacklers where you know they get down and into it at any point in the field and just constantly chasing the ball. But with Gonzalez being on an island, you know, quick screens to the outside, uh, those type of things where they're challenging him to make a tackle where he's the only man out there in space, he's able to step up to the challenge time and time again um, and bring a guy to the ground. So a lot of these, again, outside, one-on-one -on -one coverages. Um, there's another tackle, and I like this guy in space. Um, and I like him as a coverage corner as well. There's some pass breakups here and there where he's challenged. 
and honestly was challenged more so than I actually thought he would be. Yeah. And honestly, I think the only thing negative, and not really a negative for him, is his ability to react to the football on those. Because you mentioned a lot of pass breakups on the film. Some of those could have been picks that I've seen. And I think, again, at the end of the day, your number one job as the corner isn't to pick the ball off, but it is ideal if you can. Yeah. So at the same time, if you can anticipate throws a little better, get a better angle into attacking these throws, then that'll take him to that next level where he gets all the hype that he deserves. Yeah. So that's the only thing. He's done great. Great uh, job defending. Just maybe to get that little extra boost would be something he can work on. 